So, welcome to the Contra Dance Repertoire Medium Jam. We're going to have some good time. I got a mandolin here. Y'all get rowdy. I got the tender banjo as backup. But, start out on the mandolin anyway. So yeah, this is a medium jam. I'm going to do tunes at a, just a nice easy pace. Maybe we'll play them a little slower and then speed them up and play them a little bit faster. Just gotta check in with the chat here real quick. Awesome, seems like things are coming through all right. Awesome, Tom, good to have you here. Thanks for the kind words. All right, Holly from Down East Maine. I'm coming at you from Portland, Oregon. Uh, I moved out here in February and I'm missing Down East Maine, but glad you're there to enjoy it for me. All right. Frame here. Let's uh, let's start off with a tune here. Hope everybody's got their instrument of choice nice and tuned up. Well, let's start right off with uh, another tune, Real Montreal. I think that's on the list here. Uh,
up with the chat a little bit hope you're all doing well on this fine well for me Wednesday afternoon for you Wednesday early evening what do we got here all right chip good to have you here a long time mando lessons guy from Austin I bet it's a little warmer in Austin than it is here but it's pretty warm it's probably gonna get into the 80s today with a little bit of cloud cover which is nice all right, let's see. Hey, Liv, good to have you here. Liv was just at, uh, we just had Maine Fiddle Camp, uh, virtual Maine Fiddle Camp this past weekend. I, was, I wasn't teaching, but I was busy scurrying around behind the behind the, the scenes of the internet, making sure things were working, and it was a lot of fun. So, uh, and now, uh, here I am doing Fiddle Hell. I'm sad to be uh, missing... Uh, in-person fiddle hell but there's definitely going to be a virtual fiddle hell this year so keep an eye out on the website for more information i had my first experience of fiddle hell last year it was really an awesome time just non-stop fun and i'm sure the virtual thing is going to be just as good i had a little sneak peek from dave the little earlier today and i can tell you it's going to be awesome so keep an eye out for that dave has very kindly put out a little tip jar uh, in the chat, so if you're not in the chat, check that out. Uh, some of it goes to me, some of it goes to the Fiddle Hell kind of uh, the scholarship fund and Fiddle Hell operations. So I hope I hope that was a good speed for people. Again, that was uh, Real Montreal. First part's in the key of G, second part's in the key of D. If you got a tune off that list or another uh, contradance classic that you'd like to hear. I'm happy to oblige, especially if I know how it goes. <laughs> um, can't claim to know all the tunes, but I'll do my best. So just type them in the chat if you got something you'd like to play. Uh, for now, let's do another one. Maybe, uh, maybe how about Joy's, uh, or what is this tune? Real Saint Antoine. I think that's on the list here. Yeah, Kia A. Classic, classic A contra tune. This is a great tune. It's got a lot of arpeggios, a lot of little bits of scales. And here we go. Uh, uh, there it is. <laughs> One, two, key of A.
play a little harmony. Kind of music, and maybe you don't know some of these tunes. A great place to learn them is a place like Fiddle Hell, often in Westford, Massachusetts. But this year, the commute is unbeatable. It's going to be online. You can check out fiddlehell.com for more information on that. And if you're ever looking for uh, other ways to learn these tunes, I run a website called mandolessons.com. There's a link in the description of this video here. Uh, and I've got a bunch of, a bunch of mandolin lessons all out there, just ready to be watched. There's no cost or anything. They're just up on YouTube. And then on my website, I've got, I teach, I try to teach them all by ear. You know, if you ever learned a tune from someone, I, I break it down into parts. And then uh, you know, go part by part and slowly put it all together, and that's how I work it. Uh, work with it on the website, and um, then I've also got if you if you need the sheet music, I've got tablature and standard notation, as well as like play along tracks and other resources on my website. Thank you, Dave, for getting the link there in the chat I just saw. Um, so yeah, that's that's most of what I do, and um, I'm looking forward to. Doing some workshops at Fiddle Hell. I'm gonna catch up with the chat here. Looks like we got almost 50 people here. That's great. Ooh, Grub Springs. Excellent. I'll try to keep all these in my head. I don't know if we'll be able to get up to all of them, but Grub Springs is a great, one of my favorite. It's an old time tune, but a great tune for contra dance. Um, all right. Yeah, I'll do a little, do a, maybe a tune not in A, but then come back to, actually, let's just in case somebody's like cross tuned for some reason. Let's do Grub Springs next. There's a couple versions of it, um, but I'll play the one I know anyway. Um, check out the rest of the chat here. Tom, good to see you. I remember you from Fiddle Hell. <laughs> yeah, the Womp. I, you know, last year was my first experience of the Womp, and it's, it's a if you if you haven't experienced the Womp, you gotta you gotta get to Fiddle Hell. Um, nothing like it. Thank you, Colleen, for the claps. Oh, July 15th is going to be a Womp Jam. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Chip has an interesting question. Do I occasionally release my pick? I do. Um, for some reason, yeah, I, I kind of let go of the pick every once in a while to reposition it slightly. Especially kind of playing at a medium speed. All right, let's see. Yeah, no shortage of parking at Virtual Fiddle Hell. Hey, Sue, good to have you here from Portland, Maine. All right, let's do a little bit of Grub Springs. And uh, we're actually going to start, you know, we're in the key of A. Let's, uh, let's start with a little, a little intro that I like to put to Grub Springs. Because uh, it is a good friend's birthday today, Bettina. So we're going to do a little bit of happy birthday. So happy birthday, Bettina. And let's play a little happy birthday in A, and then I'll, I'll kick it into gear for uh, Grub Springs. One, two, three.
in a while. It's a great old time tune. I learned at Maine Fiddle Camp. All right. Oh, an awesome Sarah. It's got the banjo in the house, so we should definitely pay attention to some keys. I bet you're not the only banjo player out there. So yeah, let's, let's stay in keys for the most part. And let's just do another couple in A and then maybe move back to D. Or G. G. Or uh, We'll figure that out when we get there, but uh, all right, let's see. Catch up with the chat here. Claude from Westford, good to have you here. Uh, Fiddle Hell local. Yeah, the uh, there's quite the light. <laughs> Tom says I got a seizure from the womp. It's quite the, quite the light show. Do you ever drop your pick? Not often, but occasionally I do. And I often, when teaching, say you get extra points if you drop your pick. Because it's, I feel it's much better to have a nice loose grip on it than to really lock down. Because if you're locked down, you're going to have a lot of muscles that are really tightened up. And your sound's going to sound tight if you're holding the pick too tight. Okay, so maybe another one in A here. Uh, maybe a little, uh, let's see. What about, people know Steamboat Quick Step? That's a great tune. It's not on the list. 
also yeah. haven't done any jigs yet, I don't think. Um, this is one of my favorite. Although you'll you'll figure it's a it's a jig, Sarah, but you, you'll you'll figure it out. It's a uh, jigs on the on the banjo is an interesting proposition, but to see what you can get out of it, I'm sure it'll be great. All right, let's see. Sounds like this. Actually, what I was gonna say, <laughs> surprise, um, is if you don't know any of these tunes, A, lots of them are on my website, mandolessons.com. You can find them after this and learn them. And also, this is a great opportunity in all of these live jams, I've been doing it myself. You know, the great thing about this is uh, you can just try it. It's a great time to just play as if you're playing along with a recording. You're not gonna throw me off by, by playing wrong notes. Um, so just, this is a great time to just really dive in, just try to get whatever you can out of every tune, even if you don't get all the notes, um, that's totally fine, you'll, you'll just have a little bit for the next time the tune comes around. So I've been, I've been doing a lot of that during the, these kind of quarantine times, just playing along with, with all these fiddle hell jams and virtual concerts and festivals and things like that. It's an interesting opportunity that is uh, a good one to take advantage of. All right. Um, Steamboat Quick Step.
Here we go, a little bit of Steamboat Quick Step. Hope you enjoyed that one. I haven't played that tune in a long time either. Alright, Sarah's into the jig. The banjo jig. Yep, Doug does play Steamboat Quick Step a lot. Alright, great to see so much going on in the chat. Let's see if I can keep up. <laughs> Ah, uh, La Tormon, yeah. I haven't played it in a long time. Let me get it back here. Yeah, I can do that. Um, I know people play it different parts, like some people play one part as the A and one part as the B, and some people play it backward. I don't know which way uh, I play it, but I'll play it one of the ways. And the way I always think about this is it's the middle that counts. <laughs> I guess unless you're contradancing, and this is kind of a contradance tunes thing, so as long as you're not playing for dancers, once you get into the middle and it doesn't really matter, everybody Feels like they're doing the right thing. Uh, but Le Tourmont, and this is written by someone uh, that I can't remember their name right now. It's in the key of G, it's a jig in the key of G. And I'll catch up with a couple more chat things here too. Uh, what was the name of the tune I'm about to play? Uh, it was Steamboat Quick Step, was the last one. Alright, and Dave's on it. Great, thank you. All right, all right. In tune and I'll I'll do a little tuning just for you guys since you're being such great jammers. All right. So La Tourmont, uh, key of G jig. Let me see. <laughs> I already forgot the tune. One, two, three, four. Looks like maybe we're having some broadcast difficulties. I'm just going to do something here real quick. My internet here is not great, so I'm going to... I was trying this earlier. I was having all kinds of good luck when I did the test for this. And then we'll get back to that tune. But uh, I was having all kinds of good luck testing this out. And then when it came time to do the... The real thing, it just didn't work. So I'm gonna hotspot myself on the phone here. Hopefully that improves the Alright, so let's play that tune a couple more times. I hope 
Hope I'm coming through a little, a little stronger now. It looks like the numbers are maybe a little better. Well, I apologize if I cut in and out. I'm doing everything I can to keep this thing going, but let's do that a couple more times. Two, three, four. that in a very long time. Thank you for that suggest suggestion. Now it says likely you switch to backup sometimes. Yeah, I love playing chords. Um, you know, often for contra dances I end up playing a lot of chords, often on guitar rather than mandolin. Um, but I love playing chords. I don't know if those are the right chords, <laughs> but uh, hopefully they worked more or less well. Um, there's a lot of a lot of variables with chords, so a lot of different things will work. Um, and it's, it's really a, a fun thing to do, too, if you're playing an instrument that kind of works with chords. Even if it's just double stops on a fiddle. You know, I'm playing the instrument tune just like a fiddle. And a lot of the chords that I play are just two-string chords. Always on the G and D string.
just uh, two string double stops. Um, I find often that leaves a lot of a lot more space for the melody rather than going. Which also has its place, but often I try to be a little more minimalistic with my chords. And it also means that if you're playing fiddle, it's a good way to work on that sort of thing too. Uh, actually, a great example is uh, when Bruce Molsky did his jam on Sunday, he did a beautiful version that I need to go back and rewatch because as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, I gotta listen to this a couple times. Of uh, Green Grows the Laurel. Green Grows the Laurel, Soft Falls the Dew. Uh, beautiful version of that song. Just him singing and playing fiddle with all these beautiful chords. And he can only play two strings at a time. Uh, a lot of sounded like magic to me. Alright, so we're in G. Let's play a couple more G, maybe a real in G. Get back into the the 4-4 four, four world. Oh, I somehow lost my tune last time. I'll have to go find it somewhere else. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're if you're enjoying this, there's a tip jar totally uh, optional, but half of it or part of it does go to the um, the Fiddle Hell Scholarship, which is a great thing, getting people to be able to attend Fiddle Hell. Um, and part of it goes to me, which I also greatly appreciate. Um, so yeah, that option is out there, but no, uh, no pressure. I'm just having fun playing tunes. Let's play, uh, is that Gallipede? That's a great tune. Let's play Gallipede. Um, and I think every tune, I don't think La Tremont is on my website, but um, I think everything else I've played so far is on the website. Uh, Mandolessons.com. If you, if you don't know any of these tunes, chances are they're on there. There's a couple hundred fiddle tunes at this point. So, Gallipede. Key of G. A again. Which was a B part. Here's the C.
pop into my head they don't often come with a name that feels wildly certain mm, close enough so there's a little gallopede english origins on that tune but now a classic uh it's called a chestnut so it's a tune that also has a specific dance that goes with it so you can dance the dance gallopede to the tune gallopede yarmouth oh also called yarmouth real yes Correct, Diane. <laughs> I, I recently learned that uh, I often do, I have until my, I, when I was in Maine, I had uh, really fast internet and could do a lot of these sort of kind of play along things and would often take requests. And for uh, forever there was, uh, there was a, a jammer who would request Yarmouth Reel. And I, I would say, oh, I don't know that one. I got to, I got to. You know, I gotta go and learn that one and look it up and, you know, then at some point I'll learn it and then we can all play it together. And I would invariably forget time and time again. So this went on for like six months that it, every once in a while I would say, Yeah, I'm with real and I'd say, Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know it yet. And then I went and looked it up and it was Gallopede, so I did know <laughs> I, I knew it the whole time, just by a different name. So that's what I get for not looking it up. And thank you, Michael. Uh La Roman was written by Jean Paul Loyer in 1975. Don't know if I'm saying his name right, but I think it's something like that. Uh, Diane, are you saying that Yarmouth Reel is from Nova Scotia? Or maybe that like Yarmouth Reel is the Nova Scotia version of Gallopede? I know it definitely has uh, English English roots, but I'm sure it's popped up all over the all over the place. Awesome, Dave's got a uh, next online jam. Oops, I already clicked on the link. I don't need to do that right now. Check it out later. Lorraine Hammond, Madeline, and Bennett. Oh, Lorraine and Bennett Hammond, awesome. They are great. Oh, and then July 1st, we have Bethany Wakeman and Glenn Loper, who, uh, after we're done with this jam, I think it's maybe at 8 Eastern, they are playing for Irish Night at Blue tonight. Um, so if you're not familiar, it's a great venue uh, in Maine and Portland. And uh, they're going to be doing an online concert in association with Blue. Uh, so if you look up Port City Blue or something like that, or if you know either Glenn or Bethany, I think they've posted it on their Facebook pages. So I'm going to be watching that after this is over. I think it's 8 p.m., but I can't remember off the top of my head. Hey, Dave and Jeannie. 
Pennsylvania. Good to have you here. Thanks for stopping in and jamming. All right, let's do another tune. Let's do one more in G and then maybe go to D. Uh, how about swinging on a gate? I love swinging on a gate. Uh, especially if I can remember how it goes. Uh, a little slower than that. A lot of notes, so I'll slow it down a little bit. Kind of got a little carried away with Gallopede there. I hope I didn't leave anybody too much in the dust. I just love that tune so much, it gets me all excited. Cynthia, here's the B part. 
bit of swinging on a gate. Tune's got a lot of notes. <laughs> Play something with less notes now. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you all are having fun out there. Once again, uh, thank you to Dave for having me on here for Fiddle Hell and Jam and having me be part of Fiddle Hell last year and part of this upcoming Fiddle Hell. And yeah, it's a good time. Always great. It's a, it's a great community. And happy to be a part of it. Yeah, I feel uh, extra glad that I can be part of it having just moved across the country. Uh, I can still connect with you all. Hey Kirk, good to have you here. Uh, what is the name of the concert tonight? That's a good question. I think if you look up... Actually, uh, Glenn and Bethany just posted in the um, in the Fiddle Hell Facebook group where this is streaming. So if you look below this, once this is over, you'll see either Glenn or Bethany is posted in here saying, hey, check out our concert, and it should have the link there. But it's uh, Glenn Loper and Bethany Wakeman playing as part of Irish Night at Blue. All right, so let's, uh, let's play some stuff in the key of D. Just a little heads up for any banjo players out there. Sarah. <laughs> uh, and let's see, maybe a little bit. Oh, let's play something that's a little more mellow after that last one. Uh, oh, Mary asked where I am now. I just moved in February to Portland, Oregon. So other, the other Portland. I was living in Belfast, Maine for a long time. I was born and raised in Maine, and now I'm out on the West Coast for the uh, foreseeable future. Let's play, where did my list go? Oh, uh, uh, Coleman's March, key of D. A great contradance tune, but also a nice slow tune. I'm going to take this uh, excuse to just play it a little bit slower, just because it's a really pretty tune.
that tune all day every day. There's a lot to do with it. It's a fairly uh, straightforward tune but there's a lot to do to mess around with it and sometimes I get a little carried away. All right Rachel good to see you here. Can we do Big Sciota? Definitely. Throw on banjo too. Awesome. All sorts of banjos here. Yeah, so far Portland's been good. I had, had about a month to explore it before everything shut down, but enjoying it so far. Hey Arista, good to have you here. There's a fiddle and viola player. Yeah, that's what I've been doing is like playing along with like Bruce's last night. Very fun. Um, there's a lot of good stuff out there to play along with these days. Thanks. Thank you, everybody. Uh, big. Uh, let's do a couple more in D, just because we're in D and we got some banjo. But then we'll definitely get the big sciota here. Um, let's see. Let's pick up the pace a little bit with a little spotted pony. If you want to hear spotted pony like you've never heard it before. You should check out the uh, the main the virtual main fiddle camp variety show that's posted on YouTube. Uh, you can look that up, main fiddle camp variety show, or look up the main fiddle camp YouTube page. You'll see some, you'll hear some spotted pony like never before. <laughs> Okay, what was this thing we were going to do? Uh, Spotted Pony, oh yeah. <laughs> Imagine.
morning. Sorry, I got, definitely got a little carried away there. Kind of a spotted pony free jazz. But uh, just for a second. Just to prove that there are no wrong notes. <laughs> Once and for all. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Catch up with the chat. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, so Spotted Pony was that last one. And let's, let's jump right into another one here. Maybe one more in D and then a little bit of Big Sciota here. Um, oh, we, we gotta play my favorite, uh, favorite D tune of all time, Pay to Ho. Key of D, classic New England tune. If you don't know it, it's on my website, mandolessons.com. I'm sure people teach it at Fiddle Hell probably every year it comes up anyway. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of, well, yeah. I was going to pick up the tenor banjo, but it's just gotten so warm in this room that I think it's probably out of tune and we could spend less time tuning and more time playing playing music. So pay to ho
time it's a good melody. favorites of all time. If you don't know that tune, I would suggest going and learning it somewhere. It's fairly common and it's a good one to know. It's one of my favorite dance tunes that ever there was. All right, so we had that request for Big Sciota. We could move back to G for maybe two more. We'll do Big Sciota and then maybe end with a waltz. Especially if I can remember how big side it goes. There it is. Okay.
All right, we've been a big Siota. I love that tune. Well, thank you all so much for hanging out for the hour and a half that it's been. Once again, check out Fiddle Hell, the Fiddle Hell website to uh, learn more about all what's coming up. You keep an eye, I'm not sure what, what all's up there now, but keep an eye on the website to learn more about what we've got coming up for you. And once again, if you uh, want to learn any of those tunes, I think every tune except for La Tourmont is on my website, mandolessons.com. doesn't matter if you're a mandolin player or a fiddle player or a banjo player. I go through the tune note by note and phrase by phrase and teach it by ear. And I also have sheet music and mandolin tablature if you are a mandolin player. Um, it's all free to watch. It's all out there on YouTube. So just get out there and learn some tunes. Uh, catch up with the chat a little bit here. So much life in the chestnuts, that's the truth. Hey, Lewis, good to have you here. All right, we're roping Becky and getting all the names down. And thank you all so much for the, the support, for the uh, tips. Some of that's going to the Fiddle Hell um, scholarship. Some of it's going to me, so thank you very much. Let's end here with uh, one last waltz, Tom Bigby Waltz. It's a great tune in the key of G. Once again, especially if I can remember how it goes. I think I do. I'm always a little fuzzy on the B part. But usually it comes through once I start playing it.
All right. I hope everybody can still see me. Something happened at the end there. And it looks like my internet really just kind of went to meet its maker. <laughs> so, uh, it's telling me I'm not uploading anything. So hopefully you can still hear me and see me. Maybe I'll also just type in the chat in case you can't. I don't see anybody saying they can't see me, but something's clearly awry on my end. But that's the end of the hour. End of the hour and a half, actually. Now time flies. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, once again, thank you, Dave, for having me on here. Hopefully it didn't cut out on the end like it seems to have on my end. I'll write a little thank you in the chat in case nobody can hear me. And have a great night. Thank you all so much.